Hello, my name's El Manzo, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Tapari sheep jitter. Firstly, your sheep jitter comes with its own hose kit and filter, um, and we also recommend a Honda 6.5 horsepower engine with a Davy twin impeller firefighter pump. Firstly, I'll show you how to connect the hoses um, to the pump and also to the jitter. So firstly we have our inlet hose. This is what we place into our receiver tank where you mix the chemical. So it's just cam lock fittings and it connect onto the pump here. The cam lock fittings also have an R clip so that it can't come undone. This is the filter, and you'll see there's an arrow there which shows the direction that the chemical is coming from. So first we hook this onto the pump. And then we connect the connector hose which goes from the pump to the jitter. If it's the first time you're using your jetter, um, it'll come with a roll of thread tape which you need to put on the thread of the filter um, before you connect the hoses. Also, remember to put the oil and the petrol in the motor um, and then once you've got everything connected up, it's recommended to take the cap off the top of the pump so you just push it down and lift and fill this with water before starting the motor. Once you have everything connected, you can then start the pump. Oh, in the shape. Cheap jetter comes with its own 12 volt battery, which you'll need to connect for the power to run the electrics. Once you have the power connected, you can then turn the jet jetter on. The main on off switch. We also, the next switch controls whether you just have the top jets or just the bottom, um, bottom jets or both. And then this button here allows you to test the spray and prime it. This also it opens the valves to the side jets. Once you've started the pump, You'll notice the gauge PSI will increase. It's recommended that the PSI should be around 80 PSI. Obviously the higher the revs, the higher the PSI, and this will determine how much chemical is applied to the sheep. I'll now go through a few features of the Tapari sheep jitter. Firstly, it's all made of stainless steel construction, which means you won't have any rust problems. It's also light. Um, allowing you to easily move it around with the handles at each end. We then have 10 jets on top as well as three jets in the floor and then we have four jets on each side. As the sheep come through the jetter they activate the two sensors on each side which activate the jets. This means chemical is only applied to the sheep as they walk through the jetter meaning you have minimal wastage. The sheep jitter has adjustable panels inside depending on the size sheep you're running through. Simply lift the lever and push it back to the position you want to. We're now going to start the motor and activate the sensors and show you how it works. You'll see 
the guy is too crazy here. Yeah. Once you're finished using the jetter and you turn the pump off, just press the manual spray button and this will remove any pressure before you disconnect the hoses. We also recommend to cover this while in storage so there's nothing to block your solenoids next time you go to use it. Disconnect your battery. and remember to put the battery on charge. So once the machine's set up correctly and the sheep are flying well, it's capable of doing a thousand an hour. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and we're happy to help.